Yes, I'm going to the Huawei P20 launch tomorrow, but what am I taking in my tech bag? Find out after my intro. Hi guys, this is Techzilla. I'm back again with another quick video and this time it has to be quick. Some of you already know, but most of you don't. I'm gonna be attending the Huawei P20 launch tomorrow in Paris. Looking forward to that. We all know what the phone, the leaks have been saying, the triple lens and all that sort of stuff, and the notch. But this video is not about that phone. I thought I'd make a quick video telling you guys what tech I'm going to take in my bag with me to Paris tomorrow morning for the event. Now, I've thought about this long and hard, really made some different decisions this time. There's no point in me taking my laptop because I use Adobe Premiere Pro and wherever I am when I'm abroad, whether it's in the hotel, at the actual event itself, the Wi-Fi is never strong enough to upload my, render my videos and then upload them into YouTube. It would just take forever. In the UK, I've got one of the fastest speed uh, broadband and Wi-Fi that's available in the UK. And no jokes, it could take me around about, if I did a, 15 minute video it will take about an hour just to render it and then more time to upload it to youtube and it'll be a nightmare so i thought let me think outside the box this time i'm only going for the one night what can i take that will save me having to carry it around and make it a lot more efficient for me and i thought that's why i thought i'll share this video with you guys so first thing i've got several tripods and really like my man Frodo that I'm filming on now weighs a ton and I don't really want to take that with me. So I thought, what can I use instead of a tripod? Because the vent is going to be really busy. It's going to be rammed. There's going to be a lot of people everywhere. Trying to get a tripod in front of the actual product is going to be a pain in the backside. So I thought of this, I thought outside the box. Let me show you the actual box. This came into dates. The it's from Zion, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, I apologize. It's a gimbal, smooth Q gimbal, three axes, smartphone stabilizer. So that's the packaging. I'll leave links below in, in my description for all these items I'm taking in case you wanna buy them for yourself. Let me just move my phone. It's making a rumbling sound like crazy. Um, it comes in a little pouch or carrying case, it looks like a mini guitar, so you can rock out. Um, I've had a little play around with it. It seems simple enough to use. It's one of the easiest gimbals to actually set up on the market. So basically you put your smartphone in there, power it, power it on, so the smartphone goes in there. Switch the power on, you've got a joystick here, so you can pan it left and right or change the pitch pan it up, pan it down. Um, you've got different mode buttons and so on. I'm not gonna demonstrate it now in this video because that's not what it's about, but I will do a review of this after the actual event because I think it will be beneficial to let you guys know how I got on with it. So that's a big thing. First time, it's only 100 pounds. And the reason I got attracted to this one is it's got a massive battery in it that will actually last for about 12 hours of continuous use. And it's also got a little USB port at the bottom here in the handle. So I can plug in my phone into that with this cable and charge my phone off of this if it's running low on, on juice. So I'm looking forward to actually using this. Um, there is an app that comes with it, but I haven't got time to really go and look at the app. Um, at the moment, I'm just going to use it with the camera app that I choose to film with. So that kind of gives you a clue as to what I'm going to use to film my footage with. Now I'm taking three devices with me. Uh, I'm taking my S9 Plus. Now the reason I'm taking this 
is because the 4K 60 frames per second doesn't have video stabilization. And I thought to myself, well, having the gimbal will eliminate the need for this to have built-in stabilization. So I thought it could be an interesting experiment. I can do a video on the actual gimbal. I can actually do a video on the quality of this footage as well. And I can actually do a video of the P20 when it launches. So that's one, the S9 Plus. Um, another phone I'm taking, if I can find it, wherever I put it, oh, there it is, is an iPhone 10. The reason I'm taking this now, shout out to Gavin. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel as well. Uh, he's based in the UK. I was talking to him on Twitter, I think it was yesterday or the day before. Uh, I'll leave a link to his channel in my description as well if you want to check out his channel. He's a good, he's a good guy. He gets into quite a bit of depth with his videos. And he was telling me he uses a um, he uses his iPad to edit videos on, which I thought, hmm, okay. And he uses a, a program called called uh, Luma Fusion. So I downloaded it onto the iPhone 10. I had a little play around with it today and it seems pretty good, if I'm completely honest. Um, and I can upload videos directly from this into YouTube in, in the 4K resolution. So I thought, instead of taking a laptop, I know this is a tiny screen, it's just an experiment. If I don't manage to make any videos while I'm there, because the schedule is gonna be hectic, I may not get the chance, but I will try my hardest. I thought, let me try to edit a video on here it won't be obviously as quality as Adobe Premiere Pro and my standalone, um, my standalone, you know, laptop. But you know what I mean? It is good enough for YouTube from what I've seen. So it's not bad. I'm taking a third phone with me as well. I'm going to a Huawei event. So I have to take my Huawei Mate 10. Yes, the Mate 10, not the Pro because this thing is a battery beast. Absolute battery beast, this thing. So that's the third phone I'm taking. Make, it's all kind of making sense. Now obviously I'm gonna be traveling for a long time on the Eurostar, going up there and coming back. So I need a set of headphones to listen to my music while I'm in the, in the train. So I'm taking my Sony MDR-1000X noise cancelling headphones. These are my favorite noise canceling headphones out of all of them that are available. These beat the Bose, these beat the Sennheisers. In fact, they're just, if you need noise canceling traveling headphones, these are the beasts. I've done a review of these last year, so you might want to check that out, you know, if you're interested in them. I did a comparison to the Bose QC35. So this is the headphone of choice I'm taking. Um, now, obviously I'm gonna need power while I'm there. So I'm taking this. Now I've had this for a long time and I've never made a video on it. It's a power bank from Anchor. Now this one is an absolute beast. It's got quick charge 3.0 built into it. Um, it's got a 21,000, that's why I said thousand, not 200, 21,000 milliamp hour battery built into it. So this thing could probably power the sun, if I'm honest. Um, but I can power at least two phones off of this at once. I can charge the S9 Plus up at least five or six times from one of these. Um, I can probably charge the gimbal from this if I need to. You've got your four LED lights there. I don't know if you can see it. So this thing, this is a little beast. This is a especially on the Eurostar, I can just keep my phones topped up while I to music or watching films or whatever. So that's another plus right there, another plus. And what else am I taking? I'm taking this. This is probably the smallest tripod I've ever seen. It's all metal construction, okay? It's a, a road tripod tiny one it's adjustable here you can loosen that it's got a ball head in there so you can move it around why am i taking this well the bottom of the gimbal has got a quarter, um, one quarter 20 thread in the bottom of the handle 
So it's pretty industry standard. So I can use this, screw the gimbal onto this, place this down on a desk and leave the gimbal sitting there filming if I want to do it that way. So smallest tripod I have this thing. Road one, really nice, I like that. Um, I'm also taking a lapel microphone. Now this thing was only about, about six pound. It cost nothing, literally. It's the Sabrant. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Let me try and focus in on that. There you go. Sabrant. Come back when we focus. So I'm taking this with me. Um, I can plug this directly into the headphone jack of my S9 Plus and record directly, record the audio via this rather than the phone's microphones. Why is that important? Well, when you're in one of these events, there's a lot of noise. And when I was at the Samsung event, I was literally shouting. So I could literally clip this to my collar, plug this 3.5 mil into the phone. And it's a pretty long cable. I mean, look at the size of that. That's pretty long. So I'm taking that for six pounds. It's not bad. And another thing I'm taking, I need to charge these at night when I'm back in my hotel room. So I'm taking this with me. This is a another product from Anchor. And I'll show you what this is. This is a, like a multi charger, multi charger. Basically, this has got four USB type A ports in there. So basically standard ports. So I can plug in the cape, my charging cable from my S9 Plus in there. I can plug in the one from the Mate 10 in there. Um, I can plug in the gimbal into here at night. And obviously there's a special port at the top right there. I don't know if you can see it, probably not gonna focus right up there with the special lightning cable from Apple. And what that does is that fast charges, sorry, bus is outside, that fast charges the iPhone 10, you know, at its maximum charging rate. So I thought this is a pretty good little investor. I've been using this for a long time. I use this at home. Um, the wire that connects to it is pretty long as well. So I can literally charge five devices off this at once with utilizing one plug socket overnight. And of course, I'm taking one of these little travel adapters so I can just plug this into here, plug that into the wall and I'm charging everything. I'm just looking at the time guys on the camera if you're wondering why I keep looking over there. And the final thing, final, final thing I'm taking with me is my Samsung Galaxy uh, Samsung Gear S3 Frontier smartwatch. This is a little beast. I love this. this is my favorite smartwatch. I've got the Apple watch as well, but I like this one better. So I'm taking that. That's the last piece of tech I'm actually taking with me. So there you have it, guys. Um, I've literally, if you take out the headphones and you take out the other bits and pieces, I'm taking like a kind of a mini studio and it costs me with the take the phone out of the equation because we always take our phone everywhere um if you factor in the cost of the gimbal which was a hundred pounds factor in the lapel microphone which was uh six pound uh the power bank which is i think is 20 pounds something like that so for a hundred and let's say 130 pounds I'm taking enough equipment to give me steady shots, hand shots, I can vlog with it, it will follow my face wherever I move it, it will, it will be crystal clear. Um, and with the iPhone 10, if I can, I'll try and use the video editing software that I mentioned on there and release a video that way. But I don't know how good it will be because of the Wi-Fi in the hotel and so on. But I'll try guys, I'll try. I've never used the software before. So anyway, guys, that's it. It's, I'm in a bit of a rush because I'm going to be leaving my house at, what was it, 5 a.m. to travel to the station. So I need to get to bed soon. So 
this ain't the most polished video I've ever done. This is pretty much me completely raw, <laughs> completely raw. But anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll try and do some live streams at the event, so keep an eye out for them. If the live streams suck, the quality sucks, don't blame me because that's the Wi-Fi quality at the venue. The Wi-Fi is not strong. Wherever I am live streaming, when it uploads, it will just be, the quality will be rubbish, but you'll have the content there at least. Anyway, this is Tegzilla saying take care. I'll see you all again real soon and bye for now. Peace.